Game Kings, the definition of game documentary coming soon. Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So in this video, I'm going to talk about five types of women you should never date. Okay, just don't do it. Just keep it moving. All right. And so when I'm talking about dating, I'm, you know, I mean, like, you know, you're hooking up with this chick, you're seeing this girl for a while. This isn't necessarily, um, you know, like a girlfriend or whatever, but you know, this could turn into a girlfriend if you're dating the right chick but this is what i'm saying that you don't ever want to date these types of women because you don't ever want to these types of women to end up being your girlfriend if you're with them for a significant amount of time so what will happen is is that when you're first talking to a girl dealing with a girl you know you'll see these signs and you'll see these things and you're like okay let me not fuck with this one you understand just charge your ass to the game and keep that shit pushing right so i'm gonna go through one through five in the order of importance let's just get into this all right so the first type of woman that you never want to date is a woman who doesn't follow your instructions okay a woman who doesn't follow your instructions so i remember i was going on a date with this chick and what happened was i told her to meet me at this spot right and she got to the spot before me and for some reason the the place was closed now the place is never closed at the time when i told her to meet me but for some reason um it was closed they were doing renovations or whatever like that and it just happened to be closed right so she gets there before me and i'm, I'm walking to the spot and i'm probably maybe about like five to ten minutes away right so i tell this girl i say hey listen uh, just stand there and wait and I'll you know meet you in front of there and then we're gonna go somewhere else right so I'm telling her to stand there and wait for me so I get to the spot and I don't see her and then I get a text and she's like oh um, I went up the block down to this other place you know can you meet me here right now I'm, a, I'm annoyed at this point because I told her to stay there and wait for me you see what i'm saying now long story short that was the last time i ever seen that chick now the reason why i'm telling you to never date chicks who don't listen to your instructions or follow your instructions is because when you're dealing with a woman you need for her to listen to you and to follow your instructions you understand because let's say this girl becomes a chick who is actually going to be someone significant in your life or whatever right you need for her to be able to listen to you because if you're in a situation where let's say shit could go down or something crazy might happen you need her to be able to quickly listen to what you're saying so that you know y'all can do the things you need to do to get the things done that you need to get done you understand and so when you're dealing with a woman who doesn't really listen to you right that is inviting chaos to happen in your situation and you don't want that to go down you see what i mean because the thing is when you're dealing with a chick you need her to be able to you know cooperate with you and part of the cooperation is her listening to your instructions so when you when you realize that a chick is not really you know um listening to you right that's the type of chick you don't really want to take seriously you don't want to date her you understand what i'm saying you got to keep that shit pushing now second type of chick you don't want to date is women who want to stop being sluts women who want to stop being sluts now let me let me explain this to you because <laughs> you're probably thinking but wh what do you mean like why would i want to date a chick who is a slur or who wants to stop being a slut and isn't that isn't that a good thing no you gotta understand something when I say women who want to stop being sluts, what I mean is, is that this is a woman who has been, you know, doing her thing, having sex, hooking up with all these guys or whatever. But then when she comes to you now, all of a sudden, what happens is she wants to, um, you know, stop. She wants to slow it down. She wants to like, you know, um, you know, she's trying to change her life and all that other stuff. Now, this is the thing. The reason why I'm saying you don't date these women 
is because they're not really stopping right now. You understand? But they're stopping with you. You understand? They're bringing that up to you. So what I mean is, is that that same woman who, you, who you're on a date with, who's who's saying that, or the same woman you're talking to who's saying that to you, you know, she may be saying stuff like, oh, you know, you know, I, I've been like, you know, she'll even say stories of shit she did before. Like, yeah, I used to, you know, be wild back in my day or I, or, or, you know, I'm trying to stop like just, you know, being casual with people. You know, I want to like, you know, find something real and blah, 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 blah. Right. And, you know, she's saying that to you. Now, this woman most likely just had sex with some dude last night. You know, some random dude she was fucking with last night. But when it comes to you, she wants to now stop being a slut. But she's not actually, like, she hasn't been reformed yet. So, what that means is, is that when she's, she's saying that same shit to you, in the next week, she's probably going to fuck some guy on the first date. Because she's not really, she hasn't changed. She's trying to change, but she hasn't. It's the equivalent of this. Let's say you have a person who's out of shape and they're like, oh, I'm going to like go to the gym and really work out and make it happen. Right now, the reason why they're saying it with that sort of enthusiasm is because, you know, they have that burst of energy to feel like, yes, I'm going to finally do it. But then what will happen is they'll go to the gym maybe once, twice, three times that week or whatever. And then they fall off a little bit they won't go another week and then they'll jump back in maybe one day next week and then they fall off and won't go for two weeks so they're not really there yet they're not really there to where they're actually trying to change their situation to make it happen they have not become a person who uh you know is really taking that type of uh you know thing seriously yet they're not that's not their lifestyle yet. Their lifestyle isn't yet a person who is going to the gym and, and, and staying healthy. Now, what will happen is, is that at some point, they may actually take it seriously and make it a habit to where their lifestyle becomes the gym, meaning that they're going to the gym five days a week, eating right, and that's, that's what they're actually doing now. So over time, they've created the habit to where they're like that. So now they're like that. So when you meet that person, their conversation with you isn't, oh, I'm trying to go to the gym and I'm trying to, you know, do better things. No, their, their, their conversation was, yeah, I go to the gym all the time. Like, that's what I do, right? Because that's actually what they do. So how does this pertain to what I'm saying with the women? When you meet a woman and she's saying that she's trying to not be slutty, quote unquote, and, and change her shit, that means she hasn't changed yet. Because if she's changed... She wouldn't need to say she's trying because she would have already done it. Meaning that this woman would have been the type of chick who probably hasn't really been promiscuous in, you know, probably like a year, year and a half. You understand? She's been like chilling and not really indulging in casual sex. You see what I'm saying? But, but when you're dealing with a woman and she's talking about, oh, well, she wants to stop being this quote unquote slut or whatever. That means that she's still indulging in the sluttiness, but she's saying it to you because she feels that, you know, she's feeling that way in relation to you, meaning she's not really trying to do it with you. So it's not that she's not trying to be a slut or she doesn't want to have casual sex. You understand? She's just at that moment feeling inspired to change. But now she's trying to change while she's dealing with you in this particular situation. So what I'm saying is don't date her because what's going to happen is, is that you're going to be wasting a lot of time with a woman who's, you know, giving it to, to other dudes. You understand what I'm saying? But when it comes to you, she's probably not that attracted or she's not really feeling that compelled to make it happen with you because in this moment she's feeling like she wants to change but she hasn't really changed yet she hasn't really taken it seriously to the point where she's really trying to make that happen you understand what i'm saying so don't date that chick you know what i'm saying just keep that shit pushing now the third type of chick that you should never date is an extreme feminist an extreme feminist so what's an extreme feminist this is a woman who's you know her her life is really about you know destroying the patriarchy and all that other shit you know she low-key hates men you know her idea of 
of you know her beliefs are about like you know putting down men all the time and you know oh women are better than men all that type of energy you understand those are those those are the extreme feminists you understand they 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 they'll they'll try to pretend they're about like equality and all that other dumb shit but what it really is is just overpowering men and and you know and basically um being in a position where they're controlling dudes you understand what i'm saying so those chicks you don't want to want to deal with now you do have some women who claim they're feminists but they just say that they're not really you understand like they 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 say it cuz it's like the cool thing to say or they say it because they think it's about equality like yeah I'm a feminist you know I think like you know like you know men and women are equal and yada 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 but you know they're not the extreme ones see the 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 I would say the the you know bandwagon feminists you could date them chicks you understand they still like getting dick down you understand what I'm saying <laughs> they still like getting it in right but then you have the extreme ones who their hatred and vitriol for men is so fucking heavy that it, you just can't you just can't you understand what i'm saying you, you can't it's just not gonna happen you understand what i'm saying and so you're gonna you know find yourself in a bunch of drama and all this other nonsense trying to even deal with the chick like that in most cases you won't even be able to get with the chick like that because her you know her 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 what can we call it her toxic femininity <laughs> is so heavy that you know she can't even be in the same room with a man without it being some uh, issue but you know what i'm saying but just don't just stay far away from them you understand I, I i think this would be like the worst type of chick on the list just run the other direction you've heard what i'm saying so do not um you know date extreme feminists now the fourth type of chick to never date is a chick who is demanding a chick who is demanding so these are the type of women who they're all about them and so what they'll do is is that they'll demand that you be what they want you to be for them you understand so you trying to let's say set up a date or whatever with a chick and she's like oh but you know i don't really want to go to that place you know can we just do this other place over here you know that no like don't date chicks like that or a chick she'll sort of tell you you know how you're supposed to treat her well you know you're supposed to treat a woman like this and you're supposed to do this for me and you're supposed to do this for a woman and, and a gentleman is going to do that no you understand like we're not we're not going to go we're not doing that you understand like she's she's demanding that you be a certain type of way for her you understand what i'm saying or like i remember i was on this online dating site and and sometimes the demanding shit could get even crazy you understand because this chick hit me up at like midnight or some shit talking about yo you know um because i know i hit her up the day before and say yo let's get together and get a drink or some shit and then she hit me up the next day um or two days later at midnight or something and she was like hey can we meet now <laughs> you understand and so i'm looking at this chick like fuck you hit me up at midnight tomorrow can we meet now and i'm thinking she's just she's trying to get some dick so i'm like so i'm just inquiring i'm like where you at right now you understand and so she basically said she was like you know in her neighborhood or whatever near her near her place and all this other shit right so then i said to her i was like listen uh when's the next time you free you understand because I, I ain't really trying to go out right now i'm i'm tired i've been you know i'm i'm up here doing some other shit or whatever you know i, I don't really say that to her but that's what i'm thinking i'm like when you i just said when's the next time you free this fucking woman she said she replied to me and said for you never i'm never gonna be free for you because when i tell you that i want to see you and you don't come and see me i'm not i don't want to see you anymore and i'm like who the fuck is this bitch i'm like who the fuck is this bitch like <laughs> this chick is demanding that i see her when when she wants to see me talking about oh i'm never seeing you ever again because when i and then she fucking she fucking said oh you're she said you're a coward and you 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 know you don't want to spontaneously come see me and i think you're hiding something and why won't you come see me i'm like who the fuck is this bitch are you fucking crazy so this chick is demanding that i just come and see her because she want me to come and see her fuck out of here you understand what i'm saying 
don't ever date chicks like that. You understand? They're fucking crazy. Anyway, now the fifth type of chick that you don't want to date or you shouldn't date is basically any chick who isn't about what you're about. You understand? Who isn't about what you're about, right? Because, you know, we're all going to have different things that we want to happen in our relationships. We have different things that we're about. We have um, different ideas of what we want when it comes to dealing with these chicks. So if the girl isn't really about what you're about, don't fuck with her. You understand? Because some, you know, some of you guys, you're like, well, I'm just trying to smash. I'm just trying to have some casual sex. I'm just trying to hook up and just have fun right now. I'm not trying to do nothing serious. And if you notice that she's not on the same page as you, then you just keep it moving. You don't fuck with her. See, what a lot of guys will do is they will, you know, pretend like, oh, okay, well, she looks like she wants a long term, something serious. You know, let me act like, no fuck out of here if she ain't down with what you down with then you keep the shit pushing you understand so like you know like a lot of times what happen is is that because guys are so thirsty to you know be with certain women or they think oh she's hot she's the hottest girl i've seen and all this other stuff they will you know just try to get with her how she wants you know him to be you understand and it's like no if she's not about what you're about right just don't deal with her it's really that simple don't switch up don't change up who you are and what you're about to get with the chick you understand just find the women who want the same things that you want all right so that's pretty much it listen guys if you have any questions click the link below and i'll let you later remember the truth is inside you peace i'm gone Now, before you go, make sure you click the link below to get your free copy of the audio program, Undeniable Game. This program is gonna teach you seven easy to follow tips on how to really attract beautiful women. In this audio program, you'll learn exactly what you need to do to become that confident man women are attracted to. You'll also learn what you must do to become better at approaching and talking to women. You'll learn why women don't return your calls and what to do to increase the chances of women returning your calls. You also learn the only time you should call or text a woman. You'll learn how to start conversations with women. You'll learn the mindset you must have to be successful with women. You'll also learn the main thing you need to do to figure out if a woman is really interested in you and much more. So make sure you click the link below to get your copy today.